Hi, I'm Heather Clancy. I'm in the Green Biz Studio and I am joined by Dewi Bermano. She is the Deputy Director of Sustainability and Stakeholder Engagement for APP. Welcome. Thank you very much. So as a, a large paper company, mm -hmm. um, forests are very much on your mind and your organization has a new initiative called uh, Belan Belan Terra Foundation. Belan Terra Foundation. So, yes, what's right. the objective of the, the foundation? So, basically, APP is uh, have a commitment to uh, protect and uh, restore one million hectare of forest in Indonesia, which is part of um, where we have our supply chain for our mm -hmm. products, the mm -hmm. paper coming from uh, paper uh, forestry. And so um, what we're trying to do with Belantara is to develop a landscape level uh, conservation because when we talk to our suppliers, conservation is not something that you can do alone. You need to have the support of various stakeholders. And thus we develop, uh, established uh, Belantara to help uh, engage various actors on the um, landscape in uh, support of our commitment. So you said that there's various actors involved, like mm -hmm. who, like what types um, of? It will be other uh, companies, mm -hmm. other uh, forest uh, owner, or also maybe um, other um, what called agriculture companies, uh, community itself, and even also the government and NGOs. How long did it take to get this together? <laughs> uh, it's Well, we started with Belantara to be established just last year, actually. So we're still in the um, ramping up of our team. And, uh, but we've already started to have several uh, projects ongoing on the ground. We have uh, uh, one in um, South Sumatra. We work together with the South Sumatra province um, uh, government and also with uh, several NGOs, including local NGOs and international ones, such as the London Zoological Society. How is the goal set? Is it, is it very local, like you, you, that project you just mentioned? Will it have the same goal as another project in another area, or is it very specific to that region? It will be very specific to its regions. Uh, basically, when we first, uh, uh, when Belantara first was established, the first thing that they do is to develop a master plan for the ten provinces where, uh, sorry, ten regions where we're going to work with, and um, that's basically they uh, consulted with the various stakeholders on the ground, which include the community, local NGOs, uh, implementing the conservation work there to identify where would uh, support needed to help conserve a uh, forest there, and then based on that a uh, program will be developed and implemented. Mm -hmm. How did you get the, the funding for this? Where is that coming from? How did you work with your organization so, to, to um, do that? From, from APP side, we already committed um, 10 million uh, per year for the program. And, um, but what we're trying to do is to engage other uh, uh, actors also to be involved in the conservation effort. And uh, we are working with uh, various of our uh, customers to um, uh, engage them also to provide uh, um, activities on the ground so they could be part of the CSR project. And we've talked to some of them and their uh, positive interests. So that's one of the reasons why I'm also at the Green Biz to introduce mm -hmm. Belantara to uh, involve other brand owners who are interested for um, help to uh, conserve forests and and support uh, zero mm -hmm. deforestation across the supply chain mm -hmm. uh, by um, participating in the Belantara projects. What does the name mean? Belantara is actually means forest in Indonesian. So ah, that's okay. why it's the Forest Foundation, I guess, in English. Makes <laughs> sense to me, right? Yes, the yes. Forest Foundation. Yeah. And how, did, how are you going to prioritize projects? Uh, basically, we work with, uh, like I mentioned before, a local government also because um, while I was talking about um, you know, engaging other stakeholders, there are other players already uh, doing conservation programs right. on the ground, right. but a lot of time they kind of work uh, separately, individually, and that would have less impact. If you can coordinate all of those activities to make sure there is no hmm. overlap of work so that actually what you do will have a bigger impact and a lasting impact. So, for example, uh, one of the the program that we've established much more compared to the other uh, landscape is the one in South Sumatra I mentioned before. A lot of our work is coordinated through the South Sumatra governor, so they have information about who's doing what on the ground, so that we can align our work with them and sometimes work together with them uh, to enhance right. the project. So you might be enhancing something that's already going on yes. and just helping it scale better. Yes. Correct. Great. Yes. Well, so how can someone become involved? Well, you can uh, go to our website, uh, Belantara Foundation, on the internet, and this, uh, or also you can contact. Uh, there's contact information there, and uh, start talking. Or if uh, you know, we can also talk to um, our team in um, uh, uh, US uh, from APP also to connect you to the Belantara team. Great, because they're actually an independent um, organization. Right. Okay, yeah. and thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for joining us in the Green Biz Studio.